What's up, my turtles? I'm Clueless Turtle, and I'm back for another YouTube video on Cards and Castles. So, previously, we got our uh, Merciless Santa, and that was pretty awesome. But right now, I actually made a new deck called Draw Power, based on some drawing cards and some stuff I did in the tournament. It also includes Merciless Santa, so don't worry. I included Craxis because of some gold gain, and Fenrir, which was the legendary that we got. So I might as well show off the Fenrir that we got from last episode. Oh, I, just, uh, I don't know if I even showed it in the episode. But here it is, Vampage 5-8, and when you play it, it reveals all stealth enemies. It's 9 gold, it has 4 movement. So that's really nice. And we're mostly going to be playing gold gain cards. I do have Southport Captain in there, so we can play Craxis with an easy mode Craxis play. So let's just hop straight into Draw Power, our uh, new deck. And hopefully we can pull up another Merciless Santa and see if it, like, has a specific kind of card it gives you, or if it's just a random card in the game. Because, I don't know, but it seems like a really awesome card to use. Because last time we got Dragon Taming, and then we had, like, Dragon Taming to use. So I don't know if it gives, like, a random epic, because I feel like it would give a better card. Rather than a worse card, because it's a 4 gold, 5, 7 with 2 movement. But I could be wrong. We're battling Mr. MacGyver. We have Southport Captain, Merchant's Favor, and Mage Apprentice. I'm going to cycle our gold game cards out right now because we don't have Craxis. Okay, this is a really, really good hand. Oh my god. And he's going to pass his first turn. Ooh, that's really good. Because we get our Merchant's Estate off. Next turn we can play Mage Apprentice and we can get spells into our hand. Oh, nice. He just passed off his turn again. We'll play our Mage Apprentice. We'll, uh... Play one of our two Merchant's Favors so we can get his School of Magic on the field because we want to get the damage done to his troops. Most likely he'll be playing an Undead deck or or a Wizard. Oh my god, yes! The luckiest, luckiest, lucky chance, lucky, whatever. Oh my god, it's dead. It's dead, let's go. Let's go. He could have killed one of our buildings and he didn't. Oh my god, that's so good. That is so good. Sea Witch. No! Sea Witch, I hate you so much! Oh, uh, so he's probably playing an undead deck. Oh my god, what do I get rid of? I don't think I can keep both of these, can I? No, I can't. Darn, man. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, and actually, make it a little interesting for him. He won't be able to attack our other buildings, especially the School of Magic. I wanted to definitely make sure our School of Magic stays intact. Next storm. Are you kidding me right now? That is the worst possible thing that could have just happened to us. Wow, I'm just... I'm mad. I mean, he's thinking this guy's... Mind is going like, yeah, I'm gonna win because I got good cards. Master Thief, I don't, I don't like this guy anymore. I don't like this guy. Master Thief, Sea Witch, Pirates sacrificing a unit. That one over there. Well, thank you very much, Mac Guy, Mr. MacGyver. Oh, we got our Fenrir though. Oh, we are killing your Sea Witch. Oh, Vanishing Strike. Yes, please. Put this boy back into our hand so we can play him next turn. And he can actually kill our merchant's estate. Because we need to keep our guardian alive. Because, nope, never mind. He has an armory. Well, I hate everything. Everything. Yay. Um, actually, that's not that bad. We can do this. And we won't even have to hurt him because we can just onslaught him to death. Yeah, but oh my, what is this hand? Two sentry golems. Both of my draws were sentry golems. What are the chances of me getting two sentry golems? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Mm, this is a very bad situation. So we could hope and pray that it hits his armory. Oh my god, let's go. Oh my gosh, it hit his armory. That is ridiculous. I'm actually super hyped now. He's going to kill our building, but I actually don't care because there's nothing I can do about that. So let's just set up a sentry golem over here. 
Uh, we'll shadow Katana for its only move that's going to get. He's going to kill it anyways. Might as well keep my tower. Actually, that, that probably was a bad move. Or maybe... Now it's, no, it's going to be a bad move because he's just going to attack our castle again. Probably should have thought this more. Yeah, okay, we're going to lose this one, Mr. MacGyver, because he has a Windfall Griffin, and if we can't kill both of his guys and protect our castle from the Windfall Griffin, we will lose this game. Unless I get a really lucky Lightning Bolt. That's not a really lucky Lightning Bolt. That's a terrible Lightning Bolt. And I don't think there's much of anything I can do in this situation. Because we have four movement, but we can't do anything with it. Ah, uh, tisk, 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 whatever. Um, actually, we're still in the game for a little bit longer. Because he can't kill us yet, but he will very shortly. Very, very shortly because of the turns. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, no, we're screwed. <laughs> Alright, so that's a good game to Mr. MacGyver. Forfeit that one out. Uh, but that was a good deck. We got a lot of our powerful cards in the field. But this guy just outsmarted us. I should have killed off his, or at least one of his guys while I still could. Maybe played the Guardian that he knocked out back in our hand. We got kind of unlucky with um, with the Chaotic Storm. Instead of it um, killing, well, the building that protected us, it killed what it didn't really need to kill. So, yeah. Things like that's going to happen, though. And it's okay if we don't win every single match. It's fine. So we'll do one more match, and then we'll close this episode out. Hopefully we can pick up a win and get Merciless Santa into our hand. Remember, guys, hit that like button if you're enjoying the series of Cards and Castles so far. It really means a lot to me to see people enjoy watching my videos and seeing all the Cards and Castles and the decks that I'm using. So, yeah. Hopefully we can get a Merciless Santa, and maybe we can get our Craxis. I don't know. That Craxis is a... Uh, it's a fun card to play. You might not always get him in your hand, but he is a beast when you do. Being a 13-15. Plus, there are ways to play him very, very early. Somebody can play him on their first turn. If you get to end up going second, getting three Mercy's Favors into your hand and Craxis, that's an instant Craxis on your first turn, which means that you win. The odds of that happening? Extremely low. But once it does happen, it feels amazing. Knowing that it took you that long to pretty much one turn kill somebody. Because they're going to forfeit. Most likely because you're hitting them for 13 on their first turn. And they can't do anything to hit your 15 health monster. <laughs> it's just it's so good if you can get Kraxis. Some combos are boosting Kraxis' stats, giving him stealth. Um, just overall making him too difficult to go up against, and people like to exploit that, and it's really funny to watch, but if you're the person who, the pers who, uh, if you're the person receiving all the, uh, Craxis boosting hate, you're gonna die. So we're battling Passandra, uh, let's just keep our hand, because Sea Witch is overpowered, and we have Cold Warring Flying Books, we have two, two, uh, we have good turn two options. If he plays something powerful, I might go to Call to War. If not, we can just flying books. Okay, yeah, we're safe, so we can flying books. Do this right here. Alright, so this guy could be playing an aura deck, or this person could be playing a hopefully not aura deck. Maybe a knight deck. A knight deck would be okay. I can deal with that. But if they play an aura deck. Oh, so warrior. I don't know if a warrior is part of an aura deck, but I really hope it isn't. So we got our uh, Dragon Sword. That's that's really good. Um, what's Dragon Sword right now? Hidden Intent and Troll Gunner. And Kachow. Hit him for that. Hidden Intent. Ooh, that's actually kind of good because he's playing Aura and he's got like high, like no attack but really high health. They're like instantly able to die. I like that. I like that a lot. See? Ah. This is where it's going to come in handy. We hit an intent. You have five attack. But we're not actually going to hit it. Because we have a troll gunner. Boom. So this guy is going to be playing an aura deck. But that hidden intent that we got saved our life. Because that's five health. Most likely we'll be playing white knights later on. Probably a furnace knight right here. 
which I would not be surprised. Or a Fire Drake, that's not okay, but it's in his deck. I don't like Fire Drakes because they have Chain Fire, but they did actually have to nerf him because of um, it being Chain Fire 2, so he'd be able to instantly kill Sea Witch, and everybody was getting really, really annoyed because you were able to just insta-kill a Sea Witch. So let's just Onslaught it first, and if we don't get anything good, we plunder. Alright, we plunder. Yeah, we okay, yeah, I was gonna say we could call, call it a war, but I think plunder is probably a better idea. Okay, so we could Sea Witch, Call to War, or we could Burning Sun, depending on what he plays. But right now, Troll Gunner is within range of whatever he plays, but hopefully our Sea Witch can help us. And maybe Burning Sun can come clutch. Alright, so we know he's actually going to play Metal Bravery, White Knight. Obvious choice right there. Um, easy decision if you're going to be playing cards like this. And all we can really do at this point is Sea Witch him. And our Sea Witch is going to die somehow. Somewhere it's gonna die. Oh, Hasten City. That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good card. So we'll move these guys. We'll move our um our guard bros over here because he can move his dude right here or everything in this area. So we can move him up right here. Yeah. Okay. I hate this card. It's so obnoxious. You just can't do anything against a white knight because of how. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, how bulky they are. They have seven health. Is he gonna do use a health is he gonna use the health boost card right now? Because if he does, I'm gonna be really, really sad. No rent okay. Um that's odd. Switching from aura to dragon, so is this is probably an aura dragon deck. That's my guess. What's just burning whatever? And armory, so we kill this abomination of a card. Um, also, we have Yarm Giant in our hand. And I really want this guy to boost his um, Shadow Drake's health a little bit more. Or, he could play something else and not kill my Hasten City Guard. That's just what I wanted him to do. Because Yarm Giant comes in and Chain Lightnings everything that he just played or has. You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna keep our Chain Lightning to ourselves right now, and we're gonna go offensive mode. We're gonna keep Chain Lightning in our hand because he didn't have anything to chain besides his Dragon Temples, which he knows are dead unless he kills our White Knight. This is how it feels to be playing up against Aura decks. This is how it feels. White Knights don't feel good to go up against. They really don't. King Kaiju? That's doing nothing. That's doing nothing. Zero damage. Mistakes, yeah, mistakes were made. This guy just wasted out a turn, man. So we're gonna kill his second Dragon Temple. I mean, we might as well focus our energy on that. We call to war this turn. We get a, ooh, a Mage Apprentice. That's a good card. Also in our deck. And you know what else we could do? We could, you know what, let's just be mean. Let's play a Sea Witch and be like, hi, Sea Witch here to be really mean. Because Sea Witches are annoying. I don't like them. But when you have one, you're like, the power's in my hands and I'm going to use it. You're going to die. That easy. Also, we could Armory next turn. Because, yeah, I was going to assume he was going to do that. King Kaiju's dead now because we have an Armory in our hand. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a good good game. Also, we get a spell from that. I don't even care if he heals his castle. That's doing nothing. It's doing zero. His King Kaiju is definitely dead. Lava Font? Please. Please have some courtesy on where you're putting those Lava Fonts. I don't appreciate those. Because we meditation on these things, man. And, it, you know, we can just just easily do that, you know, and then get some pirates. Like, look at this Lava Font. It's going to hurt us so much. Just kidding. No, it's not. It's doing zero. So that will reduce this King Kaiju to one hit until it's dead. 
And we have our Yarm Giant sitting pretty with full health. We have meditation going on our Sea Witch to prevent it from, well, dying. Hopefully, I mean, it won't prevent it from dying, but if it doesn't die, it becomes a 4 or 5, and that's a menace because Sea Witch isn't really a high attack. Become things that you can't kill, that do a lot of damage, that summon pirates. It's, it's a very fun situation for my opponent. Oh, we can move your, you can move your Kaiju after attacking? No way! Oh my god, that, that just did so much for this guy. Witch Bolt? Oh my god. No way! That is ridiculous! That is crazy. Okay, well this guy's probably gonna beat us now. So sudden death happens, we plunder his, uh, monk. And we get Shadow Slip. That's that's not helpful for us, though. We need to get our Sentry Golem. We need to get our Flying Books going. We need to go on the offensive if we're going to win this game. We cannot wait any longer. That was such a vital play for this guy. He had Dark Fire and everything. Wow. I'm actually, like, surprised that he was able to do that. I didn't know that you were able to move the Kaiju after King Kaiju dies. I always thought that... Um, it would not be able to move, so it would lessen the, the overpowered effect of it. So right now he's gonna... Oh, dang it! He killed our flying book, so we don't actually get the bonus. Hopefully... Oh, can't storm. That's fine. You know what? That's, that's okay. Because he gets attack. Oh my god. That's mean. That is mean. Seven damage to your face. That could be the game right there. Yeah, if he can't damage our castle this turn, we win. So unless he has Dragon's Fire in his hand, we win the game. Nope, he doesn't have Dragon's Fire, we win. We win. Yes! Let's go. So we just have to end our turn, so let's just play all of our cards. Let's play our Master Thief, our Flying Books, our Merchant's Estates, I don't care, Shadow Slip, whatever. We won. Let's let's just play everything. Let's play literally everything. We could play everything but our Blacksmith, and that is it. The game is over. We win. Let's go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new deck called the Draw Power Deck. Um, it was really awesome testing it out. We didn't get to play our Fenrir, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cards and Castles. And continue with the support. Hit the like button, subscribe, whatever you need to do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Cards and Castles. Cracks is hype.